Hola, Yama Juan, and welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. Today I am at home, but I went to the McDonald's global headquarters here in Chicago, Illinois, in the West Loop. And uh, I'm going to try some of their global favorites that I have currently. I'm about to tell you what they were and what they are. First of all, I'm going to tell you about the two things that I ordered that I've already consumed. Number one was the barbecue bacon quarter pounder with cheese. It is simply exactly what it sounds like. A quarter pounder with bacon but also a barbecue sauce. And they also added uh, fried onion petals to it as well. Um, they're saying this is a global favorite, which means it's not specifically at any country, um, but it just pops up internationally at different places at different times. I gotta tell you, it tasted like a barbecue bacon or a pounder with cheese. The onion petals were crunchy and had an onion flavor to them. Overall, the barbecue sauce really stood out and uh, it was a good burger. The second thing that I got, well, first of all, I'll tell you that the barbecue quarter pounder was $6.99. $7, that was just for the sandwich. The second thing I got was the ghost pepper McChicken. And all that it is, is a ghost pepper, or a McChicken sandwich, but instead of putting regular mayonnaise on top, they still put the lettuce on there, but they put a ghost pepper sauce on top of it. Now, is it as spicy as a ghost pepper? Not at all. Whereas a ghost pepper is in the multiple millions in the Scoville heat scale, this one, I want to say was closer to 8 to 10k. Probably like a really hot jalapeno or a mid-range uh, serrano pepper. And if you're familiar with uh, those types. Um, so still pretty spicy for a fast food sandwich. I did uh, get a few hiccups in there and I did feel in the corner of my eye some wetness started to build up, but nearly a tear fell down my face. Um, the the pool dried faster than it accumulated to gain mass enough to break the surface tension of my skin and fall down. But another one that I thought was good. Uh, the McChicken is basically like eating a giant chicken nugget with some sauce on top. And the ghost pepper sauce, I thought it was good. Again, uh, this one was supposed to be specific to Canada. Interesting that Canada would have a ghost pepper thing, you think? Some place that was more familiar with spice. In Canada, they usually, the usually spiciest thing they ate is ketchup. Anyway, I'll tell you some things that I didn't get from the world menu. They had two donuts, a strawberry flavored jelly filled, and a creamy chocolate double crunch filled. Those are both filled donuts. One has a white frosting with a red strawberry filling. The other one has a chocolate frosting with like some, looks like cookie crunchy crumbles on top, also filled with a chocolate filling. And they also had a Chip Sahoy McFlurry. Um, which I can tell you is delicious because I've had them before. Um, by the way, the two donuts are supposed to be specific to Canada. The McFlurry is supposed to be specific to Guatemala, which is interesting because not too long ago it was available here in the United States uh, all around. So I don't know why it's uh, specific to Guatemala when just recently you were able to get this. And it's really good. It has chunks of Chips Ahoy cookies in them, as well as a caramel swirl, both make it 
absolute delicious item. So, let's go ahead and review the two last things that I actually have here in front of me. And this is what actually will be the title of the video. For my main course, I have the Mick Plant. This is listed as a global favorite, uh, which means it's available in a lot of places around the world. Uh, however, currently it is only available in some spots. Uh, I think they just haven't ramped up production enough for it yet. It might still be in like a slow testing phase. But what it is, is it kind of looks like a quarter pounder or a daily double kind of situation where you have cheese, ketchup, lettuce, tomato, uh, looks like onion slivers, pickles, ketchup, mayo, probably said a few things more than once. Um, it might be mustard, but I don't see any mustard. But anyway, the Mick plant is a veggie based burger. Uh, there's no meat in the patty at all. And what they did was they partnered with Beyond Meat. And I don't know if that means that they just purchased some Beyond Meat burgers or if McDonald's and Beyond Meat together worked out uh, a specific meat patty for them for this burger. But I've had plenty of Beyond Burgers before in my life. And I'll be able to tell you at least uh, my approximation, if it's just a Beyond Meat Burger on a McDonald's bun, or if they've done something else to it. Um, this side has a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to bite this side so I can get more just the flavor of the patty. Here we go. definitely has that beyond meat flavor and texture to it so i'm gonna go ahead and say it's when they say they partnered with beyond meat it really just means they purchased uh the product from beyond meat uh, it doesn't taste any different other than being um on a mcdonald's bun uh, than a regular beyond meat burger i will say it's fairly good. If you're a vegetarian, I think you'll like it. If you're a vegan, it does come with mayo. It does come with cheese. So you'll have to ask those two things off. Typically, they also cook these on the same surfaces that they cook uh, the regular meats on. So if you are a vegan, and that sort of thing matters to you, I would ask if it's possible that they can cook it on a different surface or clean off the surface at least, or just avoid it if that's something that you are that concerned over. I'm going to take a few more bites of this. Let me take a bite more on the, the messier side. With all like the lettuce and tomato and mayonnaise on here, and cheese, McDonald's burgers really are like super known for their beefiness or beefy flavors. The McPlant goes for $5.99. As I failed to mention it, the Ghost Pepper McChicken was $3.99. So the barbecue bacon quarter pounder was the most expensive at $7. Then the McPlant at $6. And then the McChicken at $4. And then I get to my last item, which is also $3.99. And this is called the Cheese 
and barbecue Mick flavor fries. And they are specific to China. Get out the fork. Comes in this box. I'm sure in China they have something different that it comes in, but there we are. For four dollars, you get what I approximate to be somewhere between a small and a medium sized fry doused with cheese sauce and barbecue sauce. The picture made this look a lot better. The picture makes the uh, flavor squirts a little bit thinner. Um, kind of like um, if you've ever had like yakisoba and they put the mayo sauce on top. It's like a, it looks like they squirted out of like a little bag with it just nick the tip off of it so they can make really thin swirls. This kind of looks like a machine that you just pumped onto it. The fries also look Pretty pale and underdone. Let's go ahead and try some of these. Yeah, that's a floppy fry. Knowing they were going to put sauce on this, why? I th would think they would cook it extra. But these are all, everyone I've had so far, not crispy at all. The barbecue and the cheese sauce, I do think, go together pretty well. You get that sweet, a little bit of smoky flavor from the barbecue sauce. Then you get kind of like a, a sharper, you know, cheesiness from the cheese sauce. I just really wish the fries were cooked better. It's not they're not floppy because of the the sauce because if you look at the fries they're just pale looking. For the flavor, it's on top of there. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, forgot where I left off there, but. Um, the fries, I like the flavor on top of them, just wish they were cooked more. This is just a strawberry glass movie. Um, it's not a global favorites. I just, there was a, a deal that if you spent three dollars you could get a free one anyway, so Use the apps, people. No matter what you're buying, you'll probably get something discounted or something added on for free. You just look at it. Plus, you can start saving points and get some for free later. Anyway, of the things I tried, um, the four things that I tried, um, I think my favorite one was honestly the barbecue bacon quarter pounder. Kind of disappointing because it's the least special one, I think. Uh, I think the other thing on there that you couldn't already put on there was the onion petals. The ghost pepper McChicken, uh, I was surprised at the spicy this level of that. Like I said before, it actually could give you some hiccups. And some water did start uh, cooling in the corner of my eyes, but not enough to actually fall off my face. The McFlavor fries, love the flavor, wish they would have cooked a little bit more. And the McPlant, it is what it is. It's a, it's a uh, Beyond Burger. If you like them, you'll like it. If you're a vegan, you probably aren't going to order it anyway because of the way it's prepared. But overall, I will say 
This is a successful round of the global favorite foods at the McDonald's headquarters here in Chicago. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're in Chicago, come down Randolph Street and try it out. They got uh, some other stuff in there uh, that's kind of unique as well. The McCafe part of this McDonald's is a little bit bigger than other places, so there's like a little bit more in terms of coffee and a little bit more in terms of uh, bakery items. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more. Um, I usually do one or two, sometimes three of these type of videos a year. Uh, depending on how often they change the menu and depending on how long how often I check to see if they change their menu to the global favorites uh, That's it. So long. Bye. Adios